Genesis 6 verse 12 is a verse from the Old Testament of the Bible. It reads, God looked on the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way upon the earth. This verse is part of the story of Noah's Ark which is one of the most well-known stories in the Bible. According to the story, God saw that the world was filled with wickedness and corruption and decided to destroy it with a great flood. However, God chose to spare Noah and his family, who were righteous, and instructed Noah to build an ark to save himself, his family, and two of every kind of animal from the flood. The verse in question describes the extent of the corruption that had taken hold of the world. It suggests that the wickedness was so pervasive that it had corrupted all flesh on earth. This is a powerful statement about the state of humanity at the time, and it underscores the need for God's intervention. The verse in question describes the extent of the corruption that had taken hold of the world. It suggests that the wickedness was so pervasive that it had corrupted all flesh on earth. This is a powerful statement about the state of humanity at the time, and it underscores the need for God's intervention. In our time today, we can see that there are still many examples of wickedness and corruption in the world. From political corruption to environmental degradation, there are many ways in which humanity has failed to live up to its potential. However, just as in the time of Noah, there are still people who strive to do what is right and just. These people are a testament to the power of righteousness and the hope that we can make the world a better place. In conclusion, Genesis 6 verse 12 is a verse that speaks to the corruption and wickedness that had taken hold of the world in the time of Noah. It is a reminder of the importance of righteousness and the need for God's intervention in the face of evil. While the world may still be plagued by wickedness and corruption, there is always hope for a better future if we strive to do what is right and just.